So we'll just go ahead and start with Chase. Hey, Troy, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Doing good. Um, what have these last few months been like for you? Um, obviously, trying to stay in shape and stay ready under unusual circumstances. Um, I mean, for me personally, I felt like it's been a good break just to kind of mentally, you know, take some time off and then regroup, um, just working on my body and working on stuff that normally wouldn't have the time to work on. So um, I think for me, it definitely it has been a good thing and just a chance for me to improve myself. So. We'll go to Ava. Hey, Troy, thanks for making the time. Um, just wondering about your mindset looking ahead uh, to Orlando. Tommy and Scott have spoken a lot about how they want this time to be kind of both about development and chasing the playoff spot. Where do your priorities lie? How much can you develop your game in, in potentially just eight games? And at some point, does this kind of become about, you know, no matter how it looks, you guys need to win games? Um, yeah, I think everybody's coming into it with the right mentality. At the end of the day, I feel like this is a great opportunity for us. Um, like you said, for the younger guys, especially, uh, just be able to go out and play. Uh, and then for us to be able to try to make the playoffs and have that chance to go out there and make the most out of these eight games. So for me personally, especially me being in my second year, I think it's a great opportunity and something that for me personally, I want to put a lot of focus and a lot of pride into these eight games coming up. So. Ben? Hey, Troy, thanks for taking the time. Um, Scott Brooks spoke longly about your growth during this mini coronavirus offseason, whatever you want to call it. Um, what were you able to work on, and did you have access to the gym during this period of time? Um, well, I was still, like, kind of restricted based off of, you know, all the rules and regulations and stuff. But towards the end of uh, – the end before I had to come back, I was in the gym a lot. I was just working out by myself, uh, not really with any, anybody else. But throughout this time, like, I've done a lot of stuff. Like, just changed my diet up a lot. My body fat is about, like, 6% now, which is the lowest it's been since – I've been in the league. Um, I mean, so it's just a lot of different stuff that I was working on that I was just trying to, you know, tighten up and making sure that my game was ready for when I came back. Because like I said, this is a good opportunity, especially for me being a young guy and being in my second year. And just a quick follow-up to that. Um, Scott Brooks also spoke about how you've played better off the bench um, this season than you, than you had when you were starting. Is there a particular reason why you might have felt more comfortable coming off the bench, or is that the case? Um, I mean, for me personally, it doesn't really bother me whether I start or come off the bench. Um, I, I would just say it's more so of my role uh, with the team or what's going on and who I'm playing with. Uh, so I think Coach Brooks kind of realized for me uh, to be able to come off the bench and play with that second unit and have a higher role with those guys. I think he realized that the, that helped us and made us a better team. So um, for me, that's no problem if that's what – needs to happen. I, at the end of the game, I'm going to do what I need to do in order for us to win. Fred? Hey, Troy. How you doing? I'm good. good. How are you? I know, uh, I know you spoke about how you wanted to guard opposing point guards, and you wanted to be a little more switchy in that sense. I know you worked on the quickness part of that, but without right. actually being able to guard people because you can't come within six feet of them, how have you gone right. about actually working on that beyond just the kind of the physical skills you have to build up? Well, it's just a lot of different stuff. Um, a lot of resistance band work, um, a lot of lateral slides uh, with resistance bands on and just more so of getting your body used to making those quick movements um, that, you know, and getting those twitch muscles used to sliding fast and making quick reaction time. So there's a lot of stuff for resistance band and a lot of muscle memory. Up, so sliding your feet and moving them fastly. So, and just just a quick follow up is is your goal to be a point guard or is it just to add versatility? Like, would would I guess not necessarily to be a point guard, but to be able to play mm -hmm. point guard for for long stints, or is it just kind of to add versatility to your game? Um, I would say for me personally, I would just say to play point guard uh, just because I feel like that's something that I'm very capable of. But at the end of the day, I'm a basketball player. You know, I don't think that I have a specific number when it comes to being one, two, or three. I think I can fill all three of those positions and push whatever the for me at the time. 
Neil? Hey, Troy, hope you and your family are well. I know that John and Brad have been doing these kind of playoff Zoom sessions with you guys and a lot of the younger guys. Mm-hmm. Since you guys are obviously a very young team, haven't gotten your feet wet with the playoffs yet, what's like one or two of the biggest takeaways you had from some of those Zoom meetings? Uh, for me personally, I would say uh, the one time I talked to John, um, I talked to him about Atlanta, and I asked him some a couple of questions about that series, um, just particularly um, asking about like, the atmosphere and what it was like to play uh, those away games because the majority of those games were won at home by each team. And so it was just one of those things where home home court advantage really – is a very big factor in the playoffs. So I took that away from uh, talking to John. And then with Brad, uh, the same thing. I asked him about that Atlanta series because he wasn't playing particularly too well at the beginning of the series. Uh, He had, they ended up losing a game in Atlanta, but I think Brad ended up scoring like his last, like he made like four of his last six shots. And so I asked him, like, did seeing the ball go in the hoop help you go into the next game and play very well? Because the team had like 30. And then so we just talked about that. But they're both really good vets, and they both are open ears to the young guys. Make sure that if we have questions, they're, we're more than welcome to ask. So they, they do a good job of that for sure. Thanks, Troy. Yep. Chase, looks like you have another one. So, Troy, uh, you know, I, I know your guys' uh, goal is to make the playoffs in Orlando, of course. So uh, what do you think about kind of how the format has changed and how it, you know, might affect your chances? What do you think about uh, just kind of like the, the road ahead for you guys? Um, I mean, I don't feel like there's anything that we're not capable of, especially with the talent that we have on our team. We have a lot of different guys that can fill many different roles. And so for me, um, I, as long as we have the opportunity to make the playoffs, I feel like we'll make the most of it regardless of the outcome and we'll do our best to to get to where we need to be. So Honestly, as long as we have a chance, I, I think very highly of our, our percentages. Karita? Hey, Troy. <clears throat> um, have you decided whether or not you are going to participate in the league's opportunity to put social justice messages on your jersey? And if so, have you thought about what you might want to share? Uh, well, I've definitely thought about it. Um, I'm definitely going to do it. But as of now, I just don't know what I'm going to put on it yet, uh, just because it it's something that is very important to me and something that I want to make sure I do it. They include people in it that know that I'm making the right but I'm for something. Okay, thank you. Ava? Yep, you're welcome. Um, Troy, just going off what you were asking John about the atmosphere of the playoffs, have you guys talked at all about down in Orlando, the challenge, I guess, of making your own energy and bringing your own atmosphere and potentially these weird empty arenas or just, you know, when games aren't like they normally are? Um, I mean, we, we, it's one of those things where where even though it is going to be a different experience, at the end of the day, it's still basketball and, and um, as much as we love our fans and we love having people at our games, at the end of the day, we have to go out and do our jobs and play as a team and play as one. And so it's definitely going to be a different atmosphere for sure because we're not going to be used to it. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we just have to go out and play and play our game and just make sure that we're communicating and talking. And like you said, uh, making our own energy and, you know, lifting one another up. And we'll go back to Fred. Troy, I'm just wondering, I don't know exactly how much of your teammates that you've seen, but has anybody come in with anything that has surprised you that stood out from a skill perspective or, or just a change in their games at all? Um, for me personally, I wouldn't say anybody specifically. I would just say for me, just looking at our overall team, uh, just seeing everybody in shape, I feel like that's the biggest thing that uh, made me happy as a teammate because I knew that I was working at home. But just to come in and have guys working out and everybody be in shape already without having to take the time to, you know, make guys run extra just to get into shape and stuff like that, I feel like that was the biggest thing for me, just to be able to be happy to see everybody, you know, has been working during this time that we had off. So. Ben? 
Roy, did any part of you hesitate to um, want to go to Orlando? And how did you react when you found out that Davis Bertans wasn't going to join you guys? Um, I mean, I don't think hesitation was the right word. It was one of those things where, like, there's there's one there's a lot going on, you know. And so um, I just feel like, as any person should. You just want to know that the precautions and everything that is going to be down there is going to be safe. So after the re, uh, the NBA reassured us everything was going to be okay and how all the stuff was going to be put into place, I felt like once we got that reassurance, it made it okay for everybody to just be like, okay, like we're going to go do this and like everybody needs to lock in. Um, and from the perspective of Davis, I mean, I fully support his decision. You know, he's making the best decision for him. And I feel like everybody in our organization feels that way. So, uh, Ava, I see your hand up. I don't know if that's from before, if you have another question. Sorry, I just forgot to lower it. No problem. Same with you, Korea. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot to lower it. No problem. Just want to make sure we got to everybody. Okay, well, I think uh, that is uh, it. Troy, appreciate you joining us today. And uh, everybody have a happy and safe 4th of July. And we will be sending out uh, our next availability info shortly. Uh, looks like that will be Sunday. Uh, we'll be off tomorrow for workouts. And then uh, I think we're back at it Sunday. So um, once we have that scheduled, we will uh, get that out to you for Sunday, uh, Sunday availability. Thanks, everybody.